Today on Bernadette TV, what to say when they ask, so what do you do? Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can in your business and your life. And today we're talking about what to say when people say to you, so what do you do? You've probably had situations where you've been out networking or meeting new people and telling them that you're in business and then you get asked this question. And if you're like many of my clients, it's a question that can then have you saying, mm, what should I say? Because the pressure's on. You want to make a good impression. You want to impress. You want to make the most of this particular opportunity. And in a moment like this, you can freeze up and not know what to say. So today I want to help you with this. So first of all, let's take the pressure off. Big mistake that people make in situations like these is they think they have to have one perfect sentence that sums up all of the things that they do and how they make a difference to their clients. And actually, I want to take the pressure off and let you know that in a situation where someone says to you, so what do you do? Your main outcome should be to start a conversation and simply engage the other person. Now, the good news is you already know how to do this because I'm pretty certain that all your life, you have been starting or engaging in conversations with other people. So know that you already know how to get a conversation started and that's all that's happening here. So my recommendation for uh, describing what you do is instead of talking about yourself to describe the people you help and how you help them. And I wanna break this down for you today. So to give you a formula for coming up with a great um, answer that you can have when someone says to you, so what do you do? So what we're going to do with this amazing conversation starter is we're going to match up a description of the people you help with a description of how you help them. That's it. That's the formula in a nutshell. So let's start by talking about a description of the people that you help. Now to do this right, you want to describe the people you help in such a way that if you're speaking to someone who represents your target audience, they're able to go, oh, that's me. Or if um, they're not your target audience, they're really clear on how they would recognize that person. So let me give you an example. You may think that you've already come up with a description of the people you help. For example, empty nesters or women after divorce or CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. The trouble is with most of these descriptions, they rarely match the way that your prospect or your target client sees themselves. Like I don't know uh, any woman who wakes up in the morning saying, oh, here I am, an empty nester starting another day. I don't know women who describe themselves as, I am a woman after divorce. Do, do you see the mismatch? So you want to learn to describe people in the way that they could relate to or they are able to respond, oh, that's me. So in my step-by-step -step program, I actually give you three different ways of describing the people that you help, but I'm just going to focus on one of them right now to help you with this. So. Who benefits from what you do? Let's describe them in terms of a challenge that they're currently facing. Let me give you an example. Let's think about what problems is your audience facing? Maybe they don't have enough time, or maybe they're someone who is trying to do more on a reduced budget. You can incorporate these challenges into your descriptions. For example, if you were to say, I work with mothers who don't have enough time, most of the mothers I know would go, oh, that's me. If you were to talk to marketing directors and say, I help marketing directors who are trying to do more on a reduced budget, most of the marketing directors that I know would be able to say, oh, that's me. So you're just, when you describe your audience in terms of a challenge or a current problem that they're facing, you're much more likely to generate that, that's me, response. So the next thing, now that you've described the type of person you help in a way that they're able to go, oh, that's me, is to match that up with a description of how you help them. So let me give you an example. In the example of a mum who doesn't have enough time, the way that you help them might be that you take 90% of what they have to do off their to-do list. So it would go like this. I help mums who don't have enough time to get 90% off their to-do list so they can have more time to spend with their family and do the things they really love. Can you hear how natural that is? It isn't some flashy advertising message designed to stop the person in the tracks. Those are conversation stoppers. 
This is a conversation starter. It's natural, it's authentic, it's engaging, and it can get the conversation underway. In fact, it naturally invites the question, how? How do you do that? So now I've given you an example. Here's how you put all of this together. You simply describe the person that you help and you match it up with a description of how you help them. That's it, that's all you need the next time someone says to you, so what do you do? So as we put this all together, the key here is, is when you are describing yourself, instead of talking about you, you talk about the results you deliver rather than what you do, and less here is definitely, definitely more. So I would love to hear what opening lines you come up with in response to the training on this week's episode. Please come and share it over on my blog. And if you would like more like this, please hit this subscribe button because when you do, the power of YouTube will automatically inform you the next time we release another episode. And I've got tons more like this to share with you. Also, I would love it if you could come and sign up for email updates. And in fact, I'd love to give you a book called Opening Lines Made Easy. It's something I used to sell for $49, but it's my gift to you when you subscribe as a result of this episode. So come on over and sign up right away because I can give you detailed examples of other opening lines that you can use and tweak and amend to your situation. That's it for this week's episode of Bernadette TV. Go ahead over to my blog, sign up right away so I can get that copy of that book to you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.